Capricorn. The first message that I'm receiving is that you have a lot to look forward to. One of those things being laughter, some joy entering into your life. And also that you're going to be successful. So whatever you're working towards is going to work out. I have you being very enduring. Shining your light. A very small light, but it comes at a cost. And that just speaks to the quality. But you're surrounded by supporters. People who admire you. They look up to you. They appreciate what you do. Almost idealistically. And they pay for this project of yours, this goal. They are adding their light to your your shrine. Like tenants, okay? You're the landlord in this situation. So you may have been torn about whether or not you're in the right here. Is this something that you can rightfully benefit from? What this work is that you do? It has something to do with self-esteem. I feel like you just make people feel good in a way. Maybe doing life coaching or something to do with therapy, the way you think. And it it just doesn't seem like it's something material, some, nothing physical that you can really hold on to. It's very abstract. And so you're kind of torn as to whether or not this is something that you should be able to benefit in the material world. And certainly you can. It's, it's what you do. So the people who pay for you to service them and what ways you service, you provide a service, they give you that value. And it's way more than you could ever imagine. So it it might even be best that you not know. And it looks like they're hoping that you never find out just how important you are to them because they're worried you just might raise the price. Even if this is a spiritual sense, they're worried that things just won't come as easily as they come right now. They are ecstatic to have you. It looks like a teacher, like you're in a a teaching position with this full card. The people looking up to you are inspired in such a way. That they are unable to see their negative situation. The negative situation that they're in. They completely disregard it and move forward on faith. And it changes their situation. So this is invaluable. They're really fighting demons. So this laughter that you have to look forward to. It's something that you all can experience together. And a lot of this is the joy coming from them. Your tenants, your students, they get so much joy from being around you. And you, in turn, are able to absorb their joyfulness. And it is, it is a very fair exchange. It is a beautiful thing. Okay, so this gives you strength, it gives you power, but you remember that you're a pillar to them. So for some reason, I'm picking up this guilt. It may even be your own self-esteem that needs a boost right now. And just hold out. Hold out on thinking negatively. Rise above like the phoenix. And start planning a vacation just to take your mind off of things. Because that's where you're headed into this paradise 